war. You can't save the baby and the girl. Watch me. Frank Strum's previous acting experience. Uh, he was in one episode of the show Wings as an extra, and then apparently there was a taping of Good Morning America where he yelled out to Al Roker from the audience. This has been a whirlwind year for me. Uh, I win the Powerball lottery, and in the same year, I find myself starring in a major motion picture. Oh, ah, <laughs> no, it's mind blowing. It really is. I insisted on doing all my own stunts. Pretty proud of that. <laughs> he insisted on doing all his own stunts, so uh, each scene took a lot longer than it should have. The stunt coordinator would say, here's what needs to be done, and I'd say, I can do that. And he'd say, well, let's get a stunt guy for this one at least. And I'd say, nope, I'm your man. And he'd always go, you are mental. <laughs> That's what he'd call me, he'd call me mental. He'd, you are metal, you are metal. He's English. Oh no, that's not my real name. Alan Smith is the name that directors use where they don't want to attach their own name to a project for various reasons. The script was an idea that I had shortly after my wife left me. Uh, or, <clears throat> why did I say that? After, after I divorced my wife. And I was able to find someone who believed enough in the script to finance it. And they said, hey, who better to play the lead than me? So here we are. It's a story of triumph. And I wish her well, though. You know, I hope that she finds someone who's better than a lottery-winning action hero superstar. So, good luck to her. I was hired to put the film together. I have nothing to do with it creatively. I just want to put that out there. The budget of this film? Jeez, I have no idea. I, uh, I only concern myself with my money. I netted about $26 million, so quite a bit. <laughs> the budget of the film is $26 million. So my agent called me and said that I had been offered a part in this movie. And you know, since it's a, a first time writer, no named actor, we had planned on asking for twice my normal rate. I was really happy that the producers were able to cast Lana. She is a little firecracker. And then I read the script and I, I saw all of the makeout scenes with me and Frank. And so we asked for triple my normal rate. So this is a really good payday for me. Well, I don't know the details of the other actors' deals, but um, if there were any special considerations or caveats, I think the producers would probably want the actress in question to keep quiet about it. Because it's nobody's beeswax. Frank and I are buddies. Uh, he promised me a, a role in this movie as an extra. Uh, I, I was in a fight scene. One of my favorite scenes was right after a big fight with the triads. Small scene, but important one. Um, do we have a clip that we can roll? That's why I'm glad my divorce happened. Opportunities. Can't be tied down. No. No. Oh, I'm not an actress. I work at the Bunny Ranch. Frank comes in from time to time. I'm one of his favorites because I do this thing where I can put my whole... No, 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 no. Uh -uh. that's not, that's, um, we don't have to interview everyone, so. 
Do you need a ride somewhere, or are you okay leaving on your own? Whatever, it's your dime, Frank. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, you can't really do that much uh, physically, so that's what took so long. I mean, he's a giant. You can't leap six feet into the air if you weigh 300 pounds. I mean, you could, but that would be a miracle. Do you know what I mean? You go, oi, look at that slumly fat man leaping into the air like a gazelle. Pretty proud of that. <laughs> the movie business is so exciting. This is my first project, so um, I'm just learning, but we do these really fun action sequences. Then we do scenes that uh, aren't easy for me, emotionally. But that's show business. I moved to a different hotel during the shoot because one of the um, cast members didn't understand the difference between a scene in a movie and real life. <laughs> and the chemistry between the two of us, I think, is, is pretty special. I'm actually not staying for the wrap party. Uh, I gotta head home. Most of my winnings are invested right now. So I'm on a budget just like everybody else. <laughs> so I'm an everyman is what I am. Uh, you do the math. Um, no, it is really you know, a shame that he's gonna have to miss it though. You know, he is life of the party. Always on, never annoying. I'm not a role model. If people look up to me as a role model, that's, you know, I'm not here to teach any lessons. But I think that the lesson people can learn from me is dreams do come true. And don't underestimate the person you're married to because as soon as you leave him saying that he makes bad financial decisions, maybe he'll make the financial decision to buy the winning lottery ticket. And then you end up with Phil the bodybuilder, only to find out that your ex-husband is now an action hero movie star who hooks up with hot girls that are way more attractive than you and fights like a tiger. You know. Also, perseverance is a lesson. Nobody's beeswax.